Okay, so today we're gonna watch more ghost videos. Now, last time we watched some Nuke's top five, but I've been recommended Bizarre Bub, uh, who also makes very similar ghost videos, real ghosts caught on tape, uh, the thumbnails, have a lot of red in them, as we know. Uh, that's what gets people clicking. Although, weirdly, this one, this one, no red in the thumbnail. It just says, when you see it. Most of these say, don't watch alone. Well, that's good because none of us are alone. We're all here. There's hundreds of us. Uh, now, I, I scanned through the videos because I was curious what I was getting into. And a lot of them have very typically scary angles. You know, oh, look, I, I'm at home and something truly chilling happened, right? Then this one, this one's got ground beef. I don't know what that's about. A construction worker is working the graveyard shift at a warehouse when something very strange is caught on camera. This I'm footage excited. was posted by xalien97, who works security at a construction site where the following chilling incident had taken place. xalien says that ever since showing this video to the people who work there, employees have been on edge. Look, there's an employee on edge. They captured live footage of the on edge employee. In a very short video, X Alien recounts the events of that night. Wait, so the video is a recounting of the of the experience? So I work security at this construction site, right? <clears throat> we got all the trucks. We got these real things right here. There you go. One of these. These things are heavy. Just uh -huh. a little backstory. It was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just guide me and I'll push it for you. <clears throat> so I said, okay, cool. So he was guiding him. He kept telling him, back it up, back it up, back it up. And he was pushing it. Mm -hmm. when, he was, yes. when they were done, he went around the reel to tell him thank you. And uh, he says that uh, he was gone. Something truly chilling. Now the scariest part about this story is that when the worker had one day gone up to the main office of the building, he noticed a particular memorial photo of the workers who used to work at the company. In this photo, he saw the man who had helped him push the reel. Eerily, the photo says he had passed away in 2015. Thanks. The following is the video of what's believed to be the ghost of the ex-employee caught on camera. Where? Where? I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. Is it gonna to continue to roll or is it done? Uh, wait, is that it? Oh, is this the part where he's like, there's nobody there. Let me get this straight. So we're just supposed to completely ignore that it started rolling off camera and then the momentum carried it to a stop and then, then it mysteriously doesn't move again? Is that is that right? Eerily enough. The person who was helping the worker with the reel suddenly disappears. According to the worker, he had walked around to thank the man for helping him, but to his shock, he was no longer there. It's as though he seemingly vanished into thin air. Given the story provided by the security guard, could it be that this worker had encountered the spirit of a deceased ex-employee? Or might there be some logical explanation for this truly odd occurrence? Here's another interesting thing too. I mean, this isn't that tall, this wheel. So he can clearly see over it. So what's with the part where he like walks around the wheel and he's like, let me just thank you real quick, guy who's still there. Whoa. Where'd he go? He can't he see over it the whole time? Why would he, why would he be confused As with about most that? videos, this one has yet to be solved. <laughs> it is unsolved. Currently, it's a cold case. No one can crack the crime. Um, I mean, I can think of a solution. It was pushed by someone off screen. Well, uh, that's, uh, that's that case closed. Case has been solved. Okay, so, so here he is. He's backing up and he's like, come on, that's right. That's right. 
And he's, he's clearly, like, he could clearly see over, he could clearly see over the wheel. He's not looking at it, though. He's looking behind him. He's looking down at the ground. He's just doing this number. He's just... He's just doing this, like, keep coming, keep coming, okay? And see, now he's looking straight at it. And he stopped it. Now he's confused. Now he's like, wait, what the flip? I thought there was somebody pushing the freaking wheel. What the heck? Somebody tell me what the flip is going on. That's him right now. I mean, I don't know, I... Eerily enough, the person who was helping the worker with the reel suddenly disappears. I mean, it's not really sudden. He never appeared in the first place. It's not like there was like an old guy pushing that we all recognize as the guy in the photo, and then suddenly he's just not there. There's nothing in the in the video at all. We, so we solved our first mystery. That was easy. Now the following video doesn't have much info, as the original source is unknown, but even without knowing its origin, the footage is no less scary. The story goes that a man who lives in a village near the Swiss Alps heard strange noises coming from the mountainous region. He decides to climb the mountain and find the source of these unusual sounds. When he mm. gets to the top, he's immensely frightened by what he sees. This is the video he took. And of course we can't see anything. Yeah, you can't see anything. Thank you for acknowledging that. Is that what we're is that what we're looking at? Yeah, I can't either. Well if you can't, what hope do we have? Okay. I have to like, it's like a magic eye, dude. You gotta look, you gotta like back up. Okay. So it's like, it's like cloaked figures that are like, oh, or, or what? How come this footage is so blurry. I'm sorry. How long ago was this made? Doesn't everybody have a smartphone these days, pretty much? It's always the people without the iPhone 13 that are out there and encounter these things. It's always the person that's just like, I love my Nokia brick phone. I'll never give it up. It's never the person that's just like crisp, clear video with the iPhone 13. Okay. I mean, it's a cool image. It seems to me that it moved a little. What the thing? What is it? Is it like the summit? Like is this the, the, like the stake at the top of the mountain? It appears to be two giant figures standing in the distance. Right. Even more chilling is the fact that the figures seem to be moving ever so slightly, confirming that they weren't statues, but instead something else entirely. The man believes that these might have been angels or an entity of some sort as he felt a sense of peace and believed that the figures meant no harm. Yet when looking at the video through an infrared lens, ah! <laughs> Jesus, it's like we're on the surface of the sun. The figures don't appear to be fake or CGI'd. Whatever had been on top of this mountain seems to have actually been there. But Wait, hang on, wait, please repeat that. Sorry, what? Yet when looking at the video through an infrared lens, the what do you mean through an infrared lens? Huh? What, like the video that we just saw? No, you can't do that. You have to have, you have to have that sort of thing equipped in the moment. You can't just be like, I'm gonna look at this video on this computer through an infrared lens. It's not, it's not gonna do anything. Am I ignorant about how infrared works? I don't, I didn't think that that was how it worked. So you, you can't, you can't just like, well, yeah, we'll infrared it in post. Honestly, up until now, I was like, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty cool. And now I'm like, well, now, now it's like you went the extra step and, and, and you fucked up. Yeah, and you think that's bad? Then we tried looking at it through an infrared lens and see. It's like, well, now I think you faked it. Like always, you be the judge on whether or not something supernatural was captured. Just what exactly had been on top of this mountain. Even though they kind of 
showed their cards there at the end. It's a cool video, even though it's like, you know, like I said, 144p 2003 flip phone footage. Um, it's still kind of cool, so. On December 31st of 2022, three policemen were dispatched to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor who reported that loud, strange noises were coming from inside. The neighbor stated that they heard deep, guttural noises and piercing screeches that were oh, unlike please, anything they'd ever them. heard. I want to hear them so bad. What, what do they sound like? Now, the video itself was taken by a paramedic who was immediately called to the scene. As it turns out, the police requested immediate medical care as they were unprepared to deal with the situation at hand. They had no idea that the house they were in once belonged to a... F Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> The house once belonged to okay, just keep that in mind. But what is this image? They got they got a finger in their mouth like a cigar, man. Family of cannibals who enjoyed butchering human flesh and oh, making exotic okay. dishes that consist The ground beef! This is the ground beef! Ground beef explained. This cannibalistic family has since passed away, but their house still remains in its shabby condition in a small is town located house? in Greater Poland. That's awesome. On the night of New Year's Eve if in so, 2022. That's awesome. A 20-year-old woman named Kamilka had been inside the house with a couple of friends. They were all playing with a Ouija board with the intent of conjuring the spirits of the cannibalistic mm -hmm. family and the victims they consumed. This was a bad idea, as all of a sudden, oh. Kamilka began acting erratically and extremely feral before barricading herself inside a room. Something had gone terribly wrong. So. Just before we go any further with the uh, Luigi board, I just want to say anybody who's like, let's go to the abandoned house of the cannibal family and break out an Ouija board and try to see what crazy stuff happens. I'm just going to say those are usually the type of people that will force something crazy to happen if nothing does. Because otherwise it's embarrassing. You don't want to go to the abandoned house of a cannibal family, break out in a Ouija board, and everybody's just sitting around like, so what do you want to do? I don't know. I'm getting kind of hungry. You want to score some Wendy's? That, yeah, like nobody wants that. That's not a fun Friday night. Of course it's off screen. These are trained officers. Why are we filming the officers and not the door? Does anyone out there, first of all, I have to stop this. We've been watching for, for a couple of minutes now. It, are the subtitles accurate? Does anyone know? <laughs> Is anyone able to able to tell me if the subtitles are accurate? Because I'm just kind of taking it on face value that they are. Red flag A, we don't see anything. Um, B, how do we know that this isn't an, an animal, like a raccoon or something? I guess that we can file that under A. A continued for that point. Just because just because a person's acting like this doesn't mean that they're possessed by the, the evil cannibal spirit. Um, we just need more information. This seems like... Uh, a tense situation, though. The subtitles are accurate? Okay. Okay. She has a wire. How do you know that? The paramedic is the person filming, right? Are they, are they like, directing, too? They're like, yeah, don't forget she has a... Is that a wire I see? Unfortunately, not much else is caught on camera as the video ends abruptly. But according to the paramedic who shot the video, Kamilka was eventually taken to the hospital. Strangely enough, it was upon arriving at the hospital that she started acting normal again. After being thoroughly examined by a psychiatrist, Kamilka showed no signs of any psychiatric disorders. Her blood was also checked for any intoxicating substances that could explain her strange behavior, but no traces of any drugs were found in her system. 
To this day, Kamilka's family nor her friends could explain what happened inside that house. All that is known is that her family wishes to never see their daughter ever like this again. Whether Kamilka was possessed or if she had a temporary psychosis remains a mystery. Okay, yeah, so my immediate thoughts are uh, it's a mental health issue or she's making it up. Um, if there's no drugs in her system, because that was my first thought is like drugs. But uh, if they did a drug test and there's no drugs, um, it could just be an elaborate TikTok hoax. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, uh, you know, if you if you invite people out to the abandoned building uh, for wh where the cannibals used to live with an Ouija board, you're not exactly looking to have a boring Friday night. You're looking to have uh, something happen. So I don't know. <laughs> In a previous video, I talked about a family in India who's been documenting unusual events inside their home. The family has seen more than just a couple of things move on their own, but also other small incidents that seem to hint at something way bigger and perhaps dangerous. Ooh. From their house being suddenly infested <laughs> with hundreds of maggots, which appeared out of nowhere as they played holy music throughout the house, to occasionally hearing the pitter-patter of invisible footsteps late at night, the family can't help but think that a curse has been placed on their home. They believe that ever since letting go of the maid who took care of them, strange things have been happening. The maid, according to them, is responsible for the strange activity. Although having seen some crazy things, it's the most recent occurrence that's by far the strangest. Object slightly off screen gets pushed in screen. It's always that, right? It's never the other way. It's late at night when the family is woken up by mysterious noises. This is what was caught. Okay, can't wait to see the acclaimed footage. <laughs> No, mama. You take care of mommy. Daddy will come soon. Okay. Bilingual family. We stand. Let's walk as slowly as possible to the to the door. To give them time to set up. Building for drama. Slowly opening for dramatic effect. What was that that we just saw? <laughs> Somebody went Where's for a little midnight snack. What? Wait, didn't you say that like these people have been like dealing with a haunting or something for like a long time? The guy goes out there and he's like, there's stuff all over the floor. And the wife's like, what? I didn't notice the kitchen cabinet was open while talking to my wife. Okay. Thanks for the update on your mindset. Okay, I can't help but notice that we've completely turned away from the kitchen. Okay. There will be put a cover giraway. Oh, they like Spider-Man. I like that. Mysteriously, a mess has been made throughout the house. But most chilling of all is the video of how it all happened, which was captured by the security camera inside their living room. They've always got CCTV in their living room, not the outdoor cameras. They got cameras indoors. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see the midnight snack ghost. Let's go. Take a look. I will. I will take a look, bub. Thank you for the red arrow. Wait, where'd that stuff come from? Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going back, sorry. Well, the fridge isn't even open. Oh, that stuff didn't come out of the fridge. That, there was like a cabinet there? It was like knocked off the counter. Naturally, the family was left unnerved, but they were left even more so by an incident that took place only a few days later. 
It's past midnight when this is captured. Oh my goodness. It's past midnight. Baby, are you awake? Baby. Are you... Uh, okay. Okay. It's it's the slow dramatic opening for me. <laughs> it's cuz he's scared. Let's walk around in the dark. Is that the, is that literally the exact same sound effect? No way. That's like, that sounds almost exactly the same. Both of those. It's like it was, uh, copy pasted in post and what the second one was louder so they turned the volume up please stay please stay outside please please stay outside i think that was the same sound effect it's like the same it's like the same speed every time and it's about the same length Okay, so we've given them enough time. The sound of small footsteps are heard running about without a trace. Now, given that the family has experienced this before, the family's not as scared or phased as when they first encountered this. It would be the following incident, however, that changes that. Only a few nights later, this was captured. Listen, they're having fun, okay? They're having a fun time pretending to be in a horror movie. I was unable to scream here, and that's why I decided it's enough. Unable to scream. So where's the where's the phone footage of this? You got your phone out. Are we not gonna see your perspective here? Just the Oh, now, now we see it. Now, cut to cell footage. He's like shaking the camera, making breathing noises. Oh no, was it again? <laughs> Most replayed. Okay, wait. So here he is on the ground. I just want to see something. What? How come there's a, there's a cut here? Why is there a cut here? So you can hear me. You can hear me pushing frame by frame, right? Why is it it's so long there? And then next thing you know, he's the the camera just kind of I don't know, just kind of glitched out there. It was full fluid motion up until just then. Could you really not fall back on your butt, bro? Did you really have to make a cut? Well, you know, Tom Cruise's stunt man, he is not, I guess. Not even willing to fall back. Gotta make a cut, like stop recording and then sit down on the ground and then start record again. The father no seemingly dedication. pushed by an unseen force. He quickly falls over while seeming a bit disoriented oh, wait, as he we tries his best to figure out what just happened. It is only seconds later that he realizes that something had touched him. While the family continues to document these chilling occurrences, viewers continue to suggest that they move out of the house as soon as possible. The family does plan on doing that, 
but it won't be anytime soon as they have to make certain arrangements before doing so. Unfortunately, for now, the family has to endure whatever strange occurrence is thrown at them. I mean, here's the thing though. If this is the worst that happens to you, the ghost goes for a little midnight snack and then like it playfully pushes you down when you're harsh in its vibe, then that's not so bad. I do want to see the CCTV of him falling down though. The father is seemingly see, pushed look. by no I mean, it doesn't it doesn't seem like he falls as is it just me or does it, it doesn't seem like he falls as quick here. I like how, I like how the CCTV starts right here. Cuz I have a feel I have a feeling that the father is seemingly pushed by none. I mean, I mean this doesn't really this looks like he's just kind of falling. Cuz you can't see he chooses to fall in a place where you can't see his feet and he chooses to show the CCTV right father is seemingly before. pushed by an unseen force. He quickly falls over while seeming a bit disoriented. I mean, this is like nothing to me. Right, so the so the opening cabinet, I mean, we've seen that how many times, right? And then that basically happens off of camera because there's a, next to the fridge, there's a washer. So I guess stuff just, was stuff sitting on top of the washer? I don't understand where this stuff came from. You know? The snacks. Okay, so next the trike's gonna fall over. I mean, look. Look at look at this footage right now. You can't even see what's happening. It doesn't even look like there is a trike there right now. Look at how, look at how clear this is. Look at how clear this, this like little sheet or whatever resting here is and then look at this isn't that kind of weird see like it just it gets so blurry for whatever reason right here interestingly look at this look at the actually actually this i think we might have caught them right here that that right there this that's one frame that's the next that's uh i think that's some video editing right there that's you can see the bike clear as day here and then it gets blurry all of a sudden but it looks like it just moves up that's some kind of there's some kind of deal happening there and then and then like you don't you just don't see it like you don't see anything here there's like a dark splotch there and then it looks like the bike seats there but this is completely blurry but because of course you're not you're not meant to slow it down right you're supposed to watch it like this Because now it's like it's blurry for a second and now you can see it again. Interesting. And this one, I mean, this one's easy. Somebody's standing off screen. They're hidden by the the corner, right? I don't know, dude. It's uh, it just seems like it seems like a lot of uh, things that would be kind of easy to fake back to back, right? I think I think catching the cut when he falls down is the most damning thing. Cause it's like, well, I mean, come on, that's a cut. So like if you cut that, then what else did you do, right? Marcos Garcia is the owner of a small car shop that is currently operated by just one mechanic. This mechanic is the only employee at this workshop, and it was just recently that he received a car from a customer who needed repairs on the vehicle. Ever since receiving this car though, strange things have been happening around the place. Both the business owner and the mechanic believe that there's something quite mysterious about this car. They don't know what it is, but they have a slight suspicion that it might be the reason as to why unexplainable things have been happening recently. This vehicle, according to them, scares them. Well, this this is this is our we're already off to a bad start with the story because like if you're just if you're just like freaked out by the car ahead of time, then whatever you're about to present next is going to be influenced by that, you know. They don't think much of it and carry on with their daily assignments. But then one day, a very peculiar incident is caught on camera. Marcos, the business owner, is watching over the shop through a security camera when he notices the mechanic acting very strange. The old man was moving in such a way that it made him feel very unsettled. But when the mechanic was asked as to what he was doing, he replied that he was talking to the client who had dropped off the creepy car. Marcos, though, found this very unusual. The video Marcos had seen tells a different story. This is what he saw. Okay. Uh, of course, it's phone footage of the video recording. 
Estoy revisando por la cámara del taller. Wait, that you're watching mi, on your phone. Mi casa. Y este maestro está hablando. Do you have two phones, bro? He's recording his phone with another phone. De verdad que no estoy chequeando. No, está hablando solo. Voy a preguntar por cámara qué está haciendo. A ver, vamos a preguntar. Okay, so it was a slow day at work, and I thought, what the hey, let's make a ghost video. Hello. Hello. Oye, disculpa, pero con quién, con quién está hablando? Oye, oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. ¿Qué, don Carlos? Pero, oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito. ¿Tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Claro. Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? Oye, podéis, su podéis subir. ¿Sabes qué? Oye, no, es que no estáis hablando con nadie, viejo. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. I feel like I feel like that's a weird answer. But Mr. Carlos is right in front of me. Why would you respond that way? Why why wouldn't why wouldn't you be like why wouldn't you be like can you believe this, Mr. Carlos? Or 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 just be like But he you know, hello? Why why would you be like but don't you understand? He's standing right in front of me. Juan, no estás con nadie. Sube y ven a ver las cámaras. Tengo todo grabado. What was that? Look at this. Look at this. What is this? What is this cut? Why? Why is there a cut here? Are they really gonna be this lazy? Well, now, yeah, now they're busted. Damn. What? You so it's not a live recording then? They're 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 setting this up like he's talking to him over the camera. Which first of all, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that they got that set up. That's pretty neat. Like first of all, my man's recording his phone with another phone, and it's a live recording, and he's talking to his employee through it. His employee who's like, but Mr. Carlos is right in front of me. And then the 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 footage isn't even live. They went through all this trouble. It's not even live. Uh, it's just disappointing. Yeah, I I know I noticed that he turned the the phone's volume down to zero while the guy was talking, and there was no volume change. I was like, maybe it's. Maybe it's a different volume level on this mysterious phone. I don't know, because it, it doesn't look like an iPhone, right? I don't know what weird shit Android phones do. Viejo, no, estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado. Vente, por favor, vente. Confused and slightly unsettled by the old man's behavior, Marcos immediately calls him to ask what exactly is happening. To a shock. The mechanic replies that Carlos, the client who had dropped off the car days ago, was visiting him to discuss details about his car and a racing accident that occurred the night before. Marcos was chilled to his core. Hearing him mention the racing accident from last night was beyond strange. As it turns out, Carlos, the client, had passed away in a terrible street racing accident the night before. The mechanic had not been aware of this incident until recently. The question is though, how exactly did he come to learn about this news? Could it be that the alleged spirit of Carlos had paid the mechanic a visit? Is the so-called haunted car responsible for this? Or is this simply a case of someone who's become slightly unhinged from doing too much work at the shop? Just like Marcos, viewers believe that something supernatural was caught on camera. Of course they did! Of course they believed that! Oh my god. If you want to have fun in, in little make-believe world, then you can do that, okay? But 
come on, man. This was, it was like so obvious that I could see that cut from outer space. And it puts, it, it, it like, as soon as you know something like that, it completely just destroys the rest of it. And the fact, all this stuff about like, Mr. Carlos died last night. And like, if that's true, then you guys are assholes. If, if it's all just like, does this old man have dementia? Like these are serious things that real people deal with. And Mr. if Mr. Carlos is a real person who died in a real car accident, and the very next day you guys are like, oh, it's a slow day at work. Let's make a weird fucked up ghost video about Mr. Carlos who just died last night. Then that, you guys are jerks. Like, uh, you know, the family before with the, with the, with the ghost in the, in their house, like that was kind of, uh, that's just like fun. You know, nobody's getting harmed by that. You know, may, maybe the kid is having fun hiding in the cabinets, pushing the doors open or, or, or whatever, make it, making the scary ghost videos. Maybe it's a fun thing for them to do as a family, but for stuff like that, it's like, okay, well, this is not harmless, you know? Again, assuming Mr. Carlos is a real person, which who knows, they might have just made him up, right? Michelle A. and her small family live in a suburban home in Long Island, New York. Both she and her husband are happily raising four children while simultaneously running a traveling petting zoo. Although living a busy lifestyle, Michelle and her husband always make sure to prioritize the needs of their children. Given how much they care for their safety, they install a nanny cam inside their baby daughter's bedroom. One night, while looking over at the baby monitor, something downright spooky is caught on camera. I can't Michelle wait. says that her baby daughter typically sleeps through the night, and if she were to wake up, she would usually cry out for her mother. But on this night, something unexpected happens. We've watched a couple of these like uh, uh, baby cam photos before, and I'm always like, man, if you're gonna fake it, don't involve your baby. Come on. You got multiple angles. She woke up pointing and laughing at something. Could it be? Could it be her imagination? Do babies, do kids have imaginations? You know, it's a completely Michelle dark room. Michelle says that her daughter appears to be pointing at something in the dark. What's even more odd is that her baby daughter was laughing and pointing at something for about an hour or so before going back to sleep. It's because of this clip that Michelle thinks that her daughter has encountered something paranormal. Oh, don't tell me this is it. Whatever it was that her daughter was seeing, Michelle hopes that it was nothing you, serious or anything that should be a cause for concern. Who knows as to whether or not her daughter had actually seen something that night. Yeah, who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> but like always, let me know what you think. I mean, I think I think this is a nothing baby cam video. There's so many potential explanations. Baby had a dream. Baby's using their imagination. Baby, uh, I don't know. It's just it, they're they're a kid, right? I, I'm like, am I am I totally off base here? Is this, are, where are the baby experts? This is actually completely incomprehensible to hate behavior for a baby. I mean, I just don't see, like, there nothing happens in the video. The baby's just, like, pointing. Also, also, can I just say, too, that we saw about, like, 30 seconds of video there, and then the mom's just like, she did this for over an hour. Okay, show me the uncut hour-long footage then. I want to see that. Where can I see the uncut footage, the director's cut? Because right now we saw like 30 seconds of the baby like pointing around. How do we know mommy's not in the, you know, here's conspiracy theory time. How do we not know mommy's off to the right? And was just like talking to me like, hi, hi, just, I, I just checked in to see how you were doing. Okay, bye. And then it's like 30 seconds of footage. And then the mom's like, hey, 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 hey. time to go viral with my ghost video. Enough from the wet blanket over here. Enough from the fuddy duddy. Let's find out from the from the real ghost hunters here in the comments. The scariest part about the first construction worker story is the fact that it's confirmed. We still have to work in the afterlife. Oh, it's a joke. Okay, top comment is a joke. That's a good sign. Thank you, Jacob Walker. I hope you find rest now. You are a good worker and deserve respect and rest. 
Okay, can we... <laughs> why, why are we being so respectful about the fake video? <laughs> okay, I hope you find rest now. What? Like, he had he had to push one more barrel until he could return to the afterlife. I don't understand. Just when I thought I was out, think he pulling me back in. And he came back in to push one more uh, spool or whatever. And then now he's over. Now he's done. That's, that's the last thing he needed. Oh, I loved that first story. The old dog is still helping out his fellow blue collar workers doesn't mean any harm he just loves to work see that's the thing too is it, like even if we take it at face value you know what was happening here with this guy even if we are just like oh my god it's real it's not creepy it's just kind of like okay it, like if ghosts exist this makes way more sense you know i'm tired of all these ghosts coming coming through and being like i'm gonna fuck with them i'm gonna knock the pack of plastic spoons off the counter i like these guys that are just like sure i'll help you with that and then they leave them hanging that's funny that's more of what i would do as a ghost hey hey watch this i'm gonna freak this guy out that's what i would say to my fellow ghosts the amount of respect i have for bizarre bub is immeasurable all right no offense bizarre bub but like you haven't won the nobel peace prize okay are, are you okay over here i mean listen i think any respect shown for for youtubers is great i say this as a youtuber but let's maybe pump the brakes a little bit omg that chick growling literally gave me chills all over it sounded real and unreal and completely demonic Oh no, the demonic people are in the comments. I, those are those are my least favorite out of all the the paranormal video people are the people that are just like it's demons. Wait, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about Bizarre Bub compared to compared to our boy Nuke from last time? I'm actually I'm actually I find Bub a lot less distracting. <laughs> I do miss Nuke's uh, Nukeisms though. I like his. Did you see it? Or like, they saw something genuinely terrifying.